YouTube, it's Tone, back with another one for you. And this one is a continuation of the bill of exchange process. We're getting into, what's it called? We're getting into notice of memorandum of laws and points and authorities in support of international bill of exchange. Now, you know, we already went through a few different um, concepts and things like that. So, and you know, understand, the biggest thing to understand is that there is no one way to do any of this. If anybody tells you they have the way, they're fucking lying. There's processes, there's, there's principles, um, and things of that nature for you to follow. So, it, you know, it isn't that anybody ever is going to have one way. There is no one way. There's really simple ways to do things, even easier than you could probably even fucking imagine. Now, I'm not going to tell you that. So you're going to have to learn all <laughs> You're going to have to learn all this shit. So, so let's get into this. So right here, banking is partially... Oh, yeah, so the beginning, yo, the first thing at all you guys want to do, UCC1, UCC3, get that shit established. That is your foreign private trust. That is your foreign private bank. That is that. You know what I'm saying? I do offer that service as well for 300 If you need that, email me. We can get that done. You need this book. It's on the house. Email me. You already know what it is. So banking is partly and optionally defined as the business of issuing notes for circulation, negotiating bills. So that's what makes you a banker, okay? And we all have the ability and the power and the duty and the obligation to write script instead of going to somebody else to get it when you can write it yourself. Because when you do that, literally for every $1 you borrow, it's costing the whole country $10 plus tax for every $1 that you use that's not yours that you didn't make. Now, mind you, I still use some of that shit, but I mean, I think I've discharged more now than I've ever spent in my life, and now I'm working on everybody else's debt. You already know. So, Black's Law Dictionary, 5th edition, page 133, defines banking as the business of banking and defined by law and custom consists in the issue of notes intended for, to circulate as money and defines uh, a banker's note as a commercial instrument resembling a bank note in every particular except that it is given by a private banker or unincorporated banking institution. Now, you can issue these. Thing is, they're going to, you know, and, you know, I can't even hold it against the people who work in the public because they probably really don't know about this shit. So if you go and try to hand them a private money order or a bill of exchange or something like that, they probably really don't fucking know what it is. So they're probably really not playing dumb. They probably really just are dumb. That's the thing. So you're going to have to deal with the private side of the bank, which is going to be the TTL, Treasury Tax and Loan Department. And they are the ones specifically, um, what is it, tasked with processing the uh, instruments as far as commercial instruments go, bill of exchanges, securities, and things of that nature. So they're going to be the ones that are going to be dealing with that directly, and then they deal with the Treasury Department, which is going to go ahead and back whatever instruments that you're writing because you have, it, you have a, a right to issue instruments against the obligation of the United States, okay? Because they fucking owe us. Why? Because we gave them the privilege to operate their business on our soil, and if they don't like that shit, then they can fucking leave. It's fuck, I mean, it's real simple. Not even that complicated. So a commercial instrument resembling a bank note in every particular except that it is given by a private banker. That's you and I. An unincorporated banking institution. That's you and I. That's part of the NBA, the National Banking Association. That's us. So federal statute does not specifically define national bank. And keep in mind that when you hear the word national, it's making reference to the, to the people, okay? So national bank and national banking association and uh, sections where... These uses are legislated on to exclude a private banker or unincorporated banking institution. It does, it does define these terms to the exclusion of such persons in the chapters and sections where the issue and circulation of notes by national banks has been repealed or forbidden. In the absence of a statutory definition, courts give terms their ordinary meaning. And now, mind you, there usually is a statutory definition. You're just not going to find it in a regular dictionary. So you're going to have to find it in their copyrighted fucking private dictionaries as well. Because you're dealing when you're dealing with statutes, uh, codes and statutes, you're dealing with private copyrighted code that is their shit. So that's why they can fucking change it because that shit is not really law. It's just fucking corporate policy. So they can change that shit if you wonder why they can. And if you wonder why they can write these codes and statutes that are in direct violation to the Constitution, it's because that shit has nothing to do with private fucking contracts. So I could have a private contract that if that if you disagree with what I say, right, then I could just kill you and there, and there will be no repercussions. Me and you can make that contract. We can do that. And then when they find your body, they can't even do nothing because we made that contract. They cannot interfere with private contracts. They cannot do it. 
So, and mind you, these people are already signed up to be killed when we find out that they're violating our shit, okay? So they already signed up for that. So if they start ending up missing and shit, they already signed up for that. So nobody can do anything about that shit because they already signed up for that. That's a private contract and nobody can interfere with that. So these people are already committing treason and they already signed up to deal with the repercussions, whatever the fuck that is, and they know what the fuck that is. So we have stated time and time and again that courts must presume that a legislature says in a statute what it means and means what it says in a, in a statute. Now that's not always the case, right? Because they're going to go ahead and use words that look like English, but they're not, okay? So the legislative purpose is expressed by the ordinary meaning of the words used. And you know that that's not the case because they always try to play games with the words that they use. So keep that in mind. Keep all the shit I just said in mind. Therefore, as noted above, the legal definitions relating to legal tender have been written by Congress and maintained as such to, bo to be both exclusive where necessary and inclusive where appropriate. So exclusive means that, that, that it has nothing to do with it. Inclusive means that it has everything to do with it. So we're appropriate to provide in its statutory definitions of legal tender for the inclusion of all those who by definition of private unincorporated persons engage in the business of banking to issue notes against the obligation of the United States for recovery on their risk. Okay. So, and the risk is that they went ahead and pledged everybody's labor and all of their, and all of their possessions, uh, to, to back the national debt in order to keep the country going. So you have every right to issue instruments against that, um, against that risk because we're the ones taking the risk, not them. They're fucking gambling with all your shit and they're probably going to fucking lose it all. Okay. So you have every right to take that shit back. So whose private assets and property are being used to collateralize, collateralize the obligations of the United States since 1933 as collectively and nationally constituting a legal class of persons being a national bank. That is you and I or National Banking Association, that's us, NBA, okay? So with the right to issue notes against the obligation of the United States for equity interest recovery due and accrued to these principles and sureties of the United States backing the obligation of US currency and credit, okay? Every single dollar that you see is gonna have a serial number on it. One of those serial numbers is gonna to correspond to somebody's social security fucking number, okay? So what does that mean? That means that you are the money. So don't you think you fucking owed something for that? As a means for the legal tender to discharge of lawful debts in commerce as remedy do them in conjunction with the U.S. obligations to the discharge that portion of the public debt which is provided for in the present financial uh, reorganization still in effect and ongoing since 1933. Almost a hundred years these motherfuckers have not figured out how to get I mean of course they could have figured it out they chose not to so for over a hundred years they purposely and literally kept you in slavery because they fucking felt like it. And really, I mean, you fucking dealt with it and you allowed them to do that shit if you want to be real. So, and I mean, so did not, right? Not anymore, though. So, H.J.R. 192 further declared every provision which purports to give the obligee a right to require payment in gold or a particular kind of coin or currency is declared to be against public policy. And no such provision shall be made shall be made with respect to any obligation here and after incurred. What that is saying is that nobody can demand any certain species of currency from you because we already did the rescission of the gold clause so gold is no longer allowed they can't even demand real fucking money all that all that we can do is discharge any debts that come into play so there's only credits and there's debits that's all that's all so and it don't matter what the fuck form it comes in they're gonna have to accept that shit and law backs that up as well because if you go ahead and attempt to discharge an obligation with one of your instruments and they refuse that shit ucc3-104 says that uh that payment is tendered whether they fucking like it or not and the debt is discharged you can take them to court and make them pay for that shit times 10 if they got a fucking problem with that so making way for discharge and recovery on u.s corporate public debt do the principles and sureties of the united states providing as public policy for the discharge of every obligation, including every obligation of and to the United States dollar for dollar, allowing those backing the U.S. financial reorganization to recover it by discharging an obligation they owe to the United States or its subcorporate entities against the same amount of the obligation of the United States owed to them, thus providing the remedy for the discharge and orderly recovery of equity interest in the U.S. corporate public debt due the sureties, Principals and holders of the United States discharging that portion of the public debt without expansion of credit debt or obligation on the United States or these its prime creditors, which is us, 
uh, it was intended to satisfy equitable remedy, but gaining for each bearer of such note discharge of obligation equivalent in the value of dollar for dollar to any and all lawful money of the United States. So what this is saying is that you have every right to go ahead and discharge any debts that are incurred in the United States for anybody. That's what I fucking do it for everybody. It ain't only you that you can do it for. You can fucking do it for everybody because we're all bankers. So everybody's signing themselves into debt and sending it to me and I'm fucking signing them out. Really that simple. We're, we are all bankers and, and all of us can do this shit. And all of us should do this shit. So those who constitute an association nationwide of private, unincorporated persons engaged in the business of banking to issue notes against these obligations of the United States, I do them, and it's do you, whose private property is at risk to collateralize the government, and it is at risk. You see what the fuck's going on right now? You don't think that your shit is at risk? The government's debt and currency by legal definition, a national banking association, such notes issued against these obligations of the United States to that part of the public debt do its principles and sureties are required by law to, ex to be accepted as legal tender. Are required by law to be accepted as legal tender. Of payment for all debts, public and private, and, as we have seen, are defined in law as obligations of the United States on the same par and category with Federal Reserve notes and other currency and legal tender obligations. Okay? are required by law to be accepted as legal tender of payment for all debts, public and private, and as we have seen, are defined in law as obligations of the United States on the same par and category with Federal Reserve notes. Same fucking thing. This is what is asserted in the tender presented to the bank for deposit, and the government has said nothing to the contrary. What the fuck are they going to say anyway? Nobody gives a fuck what they say. They work for you. What are they really going to say? Would we question that this is exactly what Congress has provided for in these statutes and codes in the public debt and obligations of the United States, and that is the remedy codified in statutory law and uh, definition we have cited here, even though it is never discussed? It is never discussed. Why the fuck is that? Under this remedy for discharge of the public debt and recovery for its principles and sureties, two debts that would have been discharged in Federal Reserve debt note instruments or checks drawn on the same, equally expanding the public debt by those transactions. Which means that they're forcing it, they're forcing you to use Federal Reserve notes for the purpose of never actually discharging a debt, but only fucking making it worse. That's why they're forcing it. And discharge against a single public debt of the corporate United States and its sub-corporate entities to its prime creditor with the expansion of the use of Federal Reserve debt note instruments as currency and credit. And so without the expansion of public debt and debt instruments in the monetary system and the expansion of the public debt as burden upon the entire financial system and its principles and sureties that the recover remedy was intended to relieve. So what they're saying here is that it doesn't even fucking make sense to use Federal Reserve notes because every time you do, you're literally making the debt worse. Okay? Like literally making the fucking debt worse. Now you motherfuckers are bank... So all the bankers out there, all the financial institutions, everybody working for the... For the, for the government can't fucking figure that out? Or are they going out of their way not to figure that out? So you gotta fucking notice these dickheads with this. You gotta notice them with that. So that way they can't pretend they have never seen that. And then if they move forward, they're knowingly committing crimes and treason against the fucking people. But you do have to notice them. Apparently their use is for the discharge and non-cash accrual reductions of U.S. corporate public debt to the principals, prime creditors, and holders of it as provided in law, and the instruments will ultimately be settled by adjustment and set off and discharge on the bearer's obligation to the United States against the obligation of the United States for the amount of the instrument to the original creditor it was tendered to or whomever or whatever institution may be the final bearer and holder in due course of it, because that's who's going to be able to claim it. You're going to process that shit as a fucking check and send it into the Treasury Department when you do your taxes and you're going to get your credit back. Okay? Simple. So the fact that you dickheads want to play games is the reason why you're all going out of business. That's why. So when your business fails because you don't want to fucking accept real money, which is from the people, you know why. Again, thus discharging that portion of the public debt without expansion of credit, debt, or note on the prime creditors of the United States, it was intended to satisfy equitable remedy to, but gaining for each uh, endorsed bearer of it, discharge of obligation equivalent in value dollar for dollar of currency measurable in lawful money of the United States, which is gold, which is gold. So although, my, I mean shit, you gotta go look on my uh, community section if you wanna know about gold and how to make it yourself. 
So this has been publicly public policy as a remedy for the discharge of debt in conjunction with, with the removal of gold and silver and real money as legal tender currency by the same act of the public policy in 1933. It has been, it been a difficult concept to communicate for others to accept and to know what to do with, so it has never gained common use, and for obvious reasons the government has discouraged public understanding of this remedy and recover under it, and therefore it is little known and not generally accessed by the public. Which makes sense because it is a private action, so you wouldn't necessarily hear about this shit in the public, but it should be spoken about nonetheless, because we have a, we're having a fucking big problem in, in the public for the reason that nobody's talking about this shit privately. But it is... It is still an obligation of the United States, has bound itself to and provided for it in statutory law, okay? So it's not a fucking theory, okay? United States still accepts these non-cash accrual exchanges today as a matter of law and equity. So is the experience of many who have access to the remedy and exercise. So this is really what's going on right now. A um, lot of things to keep in mind, a lot of... Lot of um, you know, it is a multifaceted concept, but, you know, if you don't take the time to sit down and learn this shit, you're literally going to have to work until you fucking die. And that's a choice that you're going to have to make. So, with that said, it is a game of chess. Stop playing checkers with these clowns. That's what I got for you for now. Until we meet again.